We've been testing for several years a drug called LCZ696, which is an angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitor. So it's a dual acting compound that has the ability both to block the renin angiotensin system by blocking uh, the AT1 receptor, it's valsartan, uh, is one component of this drug. And the other component is a neprilysin inhibitor. Neprilysin is an enzyme that is responsible for the breakdown of the biologically active natriuretic peptides. So by both uh, blocking the deleterious effects of the angiotensin system uh, in heart failure and by enhancing the natural compensatory mechanisms associated with raising levels of natriuretic peptides, this drug has a new mechanism of action in people with heart failure. One component of this drug is the angiotensin receptor blocker, which is similar in the way it, uh, it works to an ACE inhibitor, um, and it's part of what we standard we use now in people with heart failure. Uh, this new mechanism, the neprilysin inhibition, uh, and the subsequent uh, elevation in the natriuretic peptides and other vasoactive compounds is a new mechanism. So I think that's why we're seeing incremental value. Now, it's important to remember that these are people who also are going to be on other medications, such as beta blockers, uh, in some cases mineralocorticoid receptor uh, antagonists. Some of them are also going to have devices as well. And we saw that uh, the majority of our patients were actually on beta blockers as they should be. Uh, about 60% were on mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists. We saw that the patients who were on these other drugs and those who weren't also benefited to the same extent from uh, LCZ. And that's reassuring as well. This is a new class of medications. There are existing medications patients use for heart failure. The gold standard for heart failure has been ACE inhibitors uh, and people who don't tolerate ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers. Um, this drug uh, is really poised to replace the gold standard. Uh, we tested uh, this drug against head-to-head -head against enalapril, which is considered to be the gold standard and the bedrock of, uh, uh, of therapy for patients with heart failure. Um, we are, uh, because this drug contains valsartan, which is an angiotensin receptor blocker, it's fulfilling the role of inhibiting the renin angiotensin system just as ACE inhibitors do or ARBs. Uh, this uh, is a medicine that is, uh, we tested in patients with chronic heart failure. And in order to get in the trial, they had to uh, have had heart failure before and already been on uh, the kind of drugs that we use for heart failure. And we switched them, in a, we randomized patients to be on either the LCZ696 or uh, an allopril, and then we followed them over time. And what we uh, found was that uh, we could reduce the likelihood that they would be hospitalized for heart failure. We could reduce the likelihood that they would die suddenly. So there are people out there living with heart failure who uh, might be doing just fine, except that they still are at risk for dying suddenly, and they're still at risk for having an exacerbation of heart failure uh, and, and winding up in the hospital. Uh, overall, we believe that um, this drug was not only efficacious, but also it was very safe. Uh, in comparison to, again, the gold standard enalapril, we saw less uh, renal dysfunction. We saw less hyperkalemia. Uh, we did see this drug lowers blood pressure, as do all of these drugs, and we did see a little more um, hypotension with this drug, but no more discontinuations due to hyperten hypotension uh, compared to the Nalpa group. So overall, the side effect profile was actually better than what people are already using. We are showing data on a significant reduction, 20% reduction in sudden cardiac death. Um, we also know that there's a significant reduction in pump failure related death. Uh, we are going to show data showing that um, 
uh, quality of life is dramatically improved across all the domains using the Kansas City cardiomyopathy uh, questionnaire. We're going to show data that um, worsening of heart failure is presented and that patients who got LCZ compared to enalapril uh, had fewer uh, hospital admissions, not just heart failure admissions, but all hospital admissions. They had fewer emergency room admissions. They had fewer admissions to the ICU. And they had um, fewer or less use of uh, devices for advanced heart failure. So taken together, I mean, we think that this adds to the data that we presented uh, several months ago um, to show that this not only does reduce morbidity and mortality, but in very meaningful ways for patients. So we've looked uh, across virtually every subgroup you can imagine. And what is really um, reassuring is that the results were consistent across virtually all subgroups. So, um, you know, we have a tendency to say, well, does it work in tall people or short people or the women versus men, people with diabetes versus those without? And the answer here was yes. Uh, it does appear to be efficacious in all of the different subgroups we looked at. We haven't cured heart failure with this drug. Uh, there's an enormous amount uh, uh, to, more to do in the field. Um, we make a significant dent, we think, in reducing morbidity and mortality with heart failure, but people will still need to be on beta blockers, mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists, and so forth. This is going to be one component or part of the, the care. But I uh, do think, based on these results, that um, we will be switching uh, patients from ACE inhibitors and ARBs to this new class of drugs.